friends happy thursday i'm gonna read a daily inspiration daily inspiration from the book i got for christmas so i love it it's about kindness kindness is in our power oh i this is the one i think this is the one i tried sharing on threads one time i couldn't like i couldn't type all of it because it was too long Kindness is in our power, even when fondness is not. Samuel Johnson said that. Behaving kindly towards someone who has behaved badly towards you can feel challenging. I totally agree with that. And what I believe is even if someone does something mean to you or behaves badly to you, that doesn't make them a bad person, right? They still deserve kindness, and they still deserve to be treated kindly. I believe, which I made a YouTube video about this a long time ago, is everyone's a good person, and no matter what they did, they're still a good person. So I totally agree with that, and it is really challenging, but I feel like sometimes those people need... The kindness more than us like because they might have done that thing whatever it is without meaning to if that makes sense they whatever behavior what see <laughs> whatever bad thing they did to you they might not meant to do it but they did it anyways, if that even makes sense. I still do. I mean, they still deserve kindness. That's how I believe. It doesn't mean you are pretending to like them. It doesn't mean that other behavior was acceptable. It means you are choosing, yep, to connect with compassion with instance of that person who must be feeling pain to behave badly. So they must be feeling bad to be treating you that way. None of us is perfect, true? We all lash out at times, even towards ourselves. That's true, even I do sometimes. Sometimes I'll say like, oh, I'm not good looking, or this looks, I've done this so many times where I'm like trying to get dressed, like, oh, this looks really ugly on me, or this doesn't look good on me. And I'm gonna try and do that less because it's not kind self-talk. And even if I don't, really like my outfit, I can still think of something posit a positive way to say that. I think I mainly do it with my outfits though. Learning to respond with kindness, even when friendships, sorry, even when friendship is beyond your power, set us free from a cycle of pain that would overrise be created. It can feel tough, but it instantly diffuses conflict, both in our external world and in our heart. And it means that their behavior won't ruin our day. Is there somewhere in your life where kindness might be in your power today? Yes. So this goes back to my morning at work, which I never really explained what happened to anyone, but... We've been wearing masks all week at work, which is totally fine. I really don't care about that, even though they're not the best, but I really don't care. Um, today, we had to test today, and it was like the last minute. Like, I was on my way to work, and we had to. That, for some reason, I don't even really know why. And it seems really weird that it did, but it really affected me, and I got really emotional. And my whole mood changed. The person that was at the so I'm an assistant teacher. I love that job. Um, and so the teacher was like, "Hey, we have to test." I was like, "Yeah, I know." Like, <laughs> I never, I, I don't act like that. And so I tested, and then, you know, then she tried to ask me something, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm okay." And I was like, "Yeah, whatever." Like, I was not. 
I was not happy. And that little thing should not have affected me, me that much. Like, it's not that big of a problem. Like, it's just a dang COVID test and it's so freaking easy. But it really bothered me. And, like, I started to, like, she asked me how I was and I started to cry. And, like, I had posted a thread about this, which I should have, I should have waited. <laughs> I should have waited to post that because right when I posted that, I was feeling the most emotional and the most, yeah, the most emotion during that time. So I should have just waited because um, the rest of the day was fine. Like, it was a fine day. It was so, that question, I, I decided to turn it into kindness and I was like super kind with the kids. And my other coworkers and that one coworker I was kind to too. But like in the morning, I don't even know what it was. Like why is something so small affecting me that much? I don't know. <laughs> but it did. Anyways, so that's I'm trying to see if I can I find that quote again? Oh well, that was easy. Um, is there somewhere in your life where kindness might be in your power today? Yeah, so like I could have Hmm. I mean, I think I, if this actually counts, like I was super kind with the kids, with everyone at my work, and I didn't like lash out at anyone, but like when, okay, so when one of the parents asked me how I was, I was like, yeah, I'm okay, and I was kind to her in a way when I was feeling, okay, I was feeling <laughs> emotional and upset, but I was responding in a kind way, like I didn't lash out at her, and these are, this is one of the parents that I think I feel closer to, so I could have, but I didn't, if that really makes sense. Anyways, um, that's how my morning was, but it was a really great day, and the kids are awesome, and even with that little setback, it was still a great day, um, and <laughs> I always, like, when I'm feeling upset or something, which doesn't happen much, like, I'm usually a really happy person, um, I always go back to Posey's, um, quote which this quote I love <laughs> and I love hearing him say it but it's it's something like it's true it's true one <laughs> can't even say it without smiling one positive you are you are not, you are always <laughs> can't say it. you are only one positive thought away from a better day and it's so true and I never thought about that but it's so true like you can you can have like the worst day and then think of oh this one positive thought and then your day is amazing 